Before starting today's episode, I just want to let you know that you can now get the lens at the Water Research Lab at the Minch University. So, now we've got seven. Okay, on with the episode. Hello everybody, I'm Palkia Fan08, and welcome back to Tales of Eternia. Last time, the plot got a little bit more interesting when we met up with Kiel, who managed to translate a little bit of Meredith's gibberish. And apparently, we are in for a big BOOMING surprise! Anyway, <laughs> I thought that was bad, but I don't really care. Anyway, Kiel joined us last time. I didn't really show you that, but he did. So, let's take a look at him. He's a mage, just like Meredith is. And right now, he got Aqua Edge, Windblade, and Fireball. So right now, I will say that Meredy is probably the better mage. And just like Meredy, Kiel do not learn any spells by leveling up. So, we have to go to the Nostos cave. Oh, and by the way, uh, this is Kiel. Yeah, he is a uh, graduate student. There we go. He's dope as heck. Anyway, let's talk about Kiel while we go, shall we? And let's use that holy bottle that we got. There you are. Okay, now Kiel is a pretty interesting character. He's an asshole, he's rude, and he's smug, smug as heck. And he knows it too, but he doesn't care at all. For Kiel, uh, okay, whatever. For Kiel, there is no maybe. It's just right and there's wrong. And wow, that ho holy bottle went out fast. Anyway, we're here anyway. Ah, come on. For Kiel, there is no gray. It's only black or white. He had his nose in his books for so long that he's a huge antisocial bastard. But to be honest, I like him. Later on, we will go more into Kiel's past and we will see why he is like this. And I love that, that they actually that they actually want to do that with the character. So, simple put, Kiel is by far the smartest character in our party. He's rude and he's stubborn. And he doesn't care at all. Anyway, let's enter the Nostos cave. This place is annoying. Well, what the heck is that? Okay, it's just a dude with huge boobs. Wait. Wow. Those eggs look... Oh, eggs, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I won't sell these, even for 10,000 gold. Yes, even that. They came at the cost of my partner's life. What kind of eggs are those? Egg bears. Egg bear eggs fetch a high price at miracle cures. They will buy it at a high price. What, bears like eggs now? Huh, who knew? I got them from the mountain. But we were spotted by the egg bear parent. Oh, sad. You weren't very lucky. But my merchant spirit won't die here. For my partners, I will earn, 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 earn some more. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you interested in anything besides egg bear eggs? So he, this guy, is a merchant, so we can buy stuff from him. I will buy five holy bottles and yeah, let's stock up on spectacles. Why not? We still got that limit of 15 per item, so yeah. Equip? No, okay, fine. Well, that's it. So let's enter Nostos Cave. So, let's go. The Nostos Cave. It seems that the tidal movement here is affected by time. Yeah, that's pretty important because sometimes the cave will be flooded and you don't really want to be a part of that flood. Oh, right, there's a scene here. I always forget this one. It's important too. I always hey, forget Kiel. it though. Are you okay? Should we camp? No, no I'll be fine. <laughs> We've grown and learned to say complicated stuff. But when you get right down to it, we never really change, do we? I haven't really heard you say any complicated stuff though, Farah. 
You could say that again. Nothing at all. <laughs> What now? Oh, flashback! <laughs> okay, this is terrifying. Three children getting chased by a freaking bear. I'll fight you. It's all right now, Keel. <laughs> Poor voice actors. <laughs> How to cry? I I said it's all right. <laughs> well, at least it looks like he doesn't cry anymore. Ah. <laughs> oh. Kiel, should I are you all right should I count this one I mean he landed flat on his face this time ah you know what he fell so ding of, of course of course <laughs> no ah oh, lame but his adolescent charm sure is gone <laughs> oh that's mean You're so slow, Keel. Okay, now let's get some items. This one first, a panacea bottle. If you don't remember, that thing will heal pretty much every status element that you can get. And here we get a protector, which is body armor for Reed. Pretty nice. About time we got something. We haven't really gotten any equipment or armor in a while, so... That's nice. Let's see, and here we got chain arms for Farah. Very, very nice. Ooh, I like that. I don't really understand why arms up her kick damage though. That's a little weird, but eh, I'll take what I can get. And you see that chest there? It looks like you can't really get to it. Well, you can. It's just the battle in the way. Ah. Let's do it. Brown pot. Okay, this one's new, I believe. Oh, and there's the demon hammer skill if you haven't seen it yet. I can't remember. Sorry. <laughs> now, now that we actually can do set skill, uh, there's some... Uh, well, I, I like to call them combination skills, but I know, don't really know what they're called. Anyway, here's a buckler, a shield for reed. How the combination skills work is that you have to use a magic skill and a skill with either Reed or Farah at the same time as the magic skill gets, well, fired away, I guess. So you can use Reed's Demon Hammer and Keel's Fireball, and you will get, I think it's called Fire Hammer or something like that. Uh, these skills are pretty powerful, but they can be a little bit difficult to actually use. You have to time it pretty well. Oh, a bear! Holy crap! Ah! An egg bear! Something! That's the egg bear, huh? Leave it to me. An egg bear should be an easy kill. Prepare to die, egg bear! Tails fans should know that one. <laughs> so, this is the egg... What the heck happened to my team? Where did the ladies go? Ah, whatever. This guy's pathetic anyway. Some guys consider him a boss. I don't. At all. He's very, very easy. Okay, I should use more thrust attacks. I want that swarm, swarm skill. Ow. There we go. Level up for Keel. Nice. You can't beat me. Aw, the poor bear. <sighs> An easy fight. Then, why do you look so tired? Yeah. Why don't we camp here? Yeah, I'm starved. Of course you are. So. Yeah. Some people consider that guy a boss. I really don't. And <laughs> he's just lying there. What are you doing? Huh? 
I'm making jerky. If you dry egg bear meat, it makes good emergency rations. I'm afraid I can't agree. Over time, egg bear meat undergoes a chemical transformation and loses much of its nutrients. Nobody likes a know-it-all, Keel. What are you talking about, Keel? You've never even eaten it. I don't need to eat it to know. It's explained in detail in Volume 3, Chapter 21 of the Leonoa Encyclopedia. I rest my case. Huh. I don't care what it says. I eat it all the time, and I know I'm right. Boys, calm down. Does it matter either way? Come on, boys will be boys, always. Keel, don't even think I'm sharing this with you. <laughs> Fine, I could care less. Oh boy. Boys will be boys. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, just a little pointless little scene, but I, I like when Keel and Reed argue. It's actually quite fun. Anyway, let's move on. Now, we are actually getting very close to the end here. We got a battle axe. Oh, right. This thing. Yeah. As you can see, the battle axe is very good at slash damage, but is also very, very weak in thrust damage. I think I'm gonna stick to my pole axe because I like it balanced. But uh, if you want to, the battle axe is very good though. Okay, let's move on. We are very close to the end. You see that? That's actually the end. And what is this? Looks like jam or... Is it blood? Oh wow. The parents must have gotten them after they stole the eggs. Wow, it looks like an egg bear family. Oh, look at the little baby! Oh, so cute! But also dead. This is actually quite sad. How did they die, though? Huh. Oh well. Let's move on. Orange gel, and up here, it's pretty obvious. Check here for a lens! And now we got eight. Awesome. Now, we could just go outside of the Nosos cave, but there's more items for us to get. And to actually... Yeah, this is exactly... Thank you, game! We have to wait until high tide. Remember Kiel was talking about that in the beginning? No, I don't want to camp. That uh, the tide was controlled by the time. Well, with high tide, we can go up here now and get a circlet. And a battle, apparently. Just some zombies there. And a life bottle. Very nice. Now, my first time playing this game, I got that circlet and I just thought, why can't any of my character equip it? Because I thought it was for Farah or Meredith. Turns out it's for Keel. I can't really understand why a guy want to equip a circlet, but... Uh, yeah, I guess it's okay. Now... There's two more items that we can get here. Uh, I really think that the holy bottle goes out a lot faster in this game. Now it's this one. I could have gotten this one when I first entered this place. But we have... You see that log down there? We want the high tide to come here too. So I'm gonna run around a little bit until the high tide comes. Okay, here we go. It's now high tide. So let's go back out here and now we can use this log. And the holy bottle run out again, holy crap! And Reed just got a level up, nice. And here we get a rapier. Which is a pretty good weapon, but once again, I like my weapons balanced. So, I will stick with my pole axe. Now, we want to go back to the, well, the exit that I showed you. Unfortunately though, I have to wait until the tide is gone, so... Uh, I think I will beat you guys back at the exit. Yeah, sounds about right. It's really not that hard to get back there. So I'll meet you back there. La la la. Let's do it. Oh, there's a new enemy here. Sea slug. These guys are annoying because they're so small I can't thrust them. And I am trying to level my thrust skills here. Oh, and they can, of course, poison us too. Annoying. I'm gonna die. Heal me! Oh, 
What am I doing? <laughs> I couldn't see the enemy, I thought it was off screen. There we go. Oh, and Pharaoh got a new skill. Cool. Let's see what it is. Uh, skills, yeah. She got Swallow Dance. Awesome. Rise into the air with each consecutive kick. Cool. Now I will meet you back at the exit. Oh my god, more enemies! Sheesh, I did not know there was so many new enemies in here. Green Ropers, pathetic, the end. Hey, thrust up, nice. Now hopefully I can meet you back at the exit. Okay, here we are, finally, back at the exit. So let's just exit and we're out. <laughs> yeah, big surprise there, right? We went out the exit and we're out of the cave, who would have guessed? So that's Nostos Cave. I know that was a little bit stupid of me, but uh, hey, I went. I was actually running around for about three minutes before the tide went down. I, I thought it went up and down every, every other minute, but I guess not. There was also a, another enemy in here. I didn't meet up with it, but I know it's here. That it's called. It's called the Red Sizzler or something. It's a purple lobster. And one more thing. Farah learned Sonic Fist on the way back. So, that's pretty much it. So, next time we will go to the village of Morley. So, until next time guys, I'm Palkifan08, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all later.